Hi dears welcome to today's class I hope all of you are safe and healthy Today we will discuss the continuation of second chapter from trade to power So in the previous class we discussed about the Europeans who came to India for trade So who was the first European who came to India for trade Yes the Portuguese after that the dutch then the english and the french good so today we will discuss why these europeans fought with each other and who got the monopoly of trade and which european country became the supremacy of india are you ready okay the european powers fought with each other for the monopoly of trade with india monopoly means to have complete control here the monopoly of trade means complete control over trade the portuguese and the dutch were defeated at the very beginning of these competitions the french and the english became locked in intense rivalry and the conflict between these two forces lasted long the series of conflicts between the french and the english in south india during the middle of 18th century was known as carnatic wars the war between the english and the french happened mainly in the carnatic region which include the major regions of the present tamil nadu So these battles were known as Carnatic Wars. Three Carnatic Wars were fought between the French and the English between 1746 and 1763. Ultimately, the French were defeated in the Carnatic Wars. After gaining the monopoly of trade, the English East India Company focused on the acquisition of power in India. The company rule in India had its beginning in Bengal. Why they chose Bengal? Because agricultural prosperity and the convenient trade facilities prompted the company to capture power in Bengal. Two important wars were fought between the Indian rulers and English East India Company. to capture the power of bengal let's check the two battles the first important one was the battle of plassey the battle of plassey was fought between the british east india company and siraj uddawla who was the nawab of bengal siraj uddawla was supported by the french who were the enemies of british east india company We have discussed that the British East India Company had established their trade centers in Surat, Bombay, Calcutta and Madras. After that, they started to misuse the trade privileges given to them by the Nawab of Bengal. And they started the fortification of Calcutta without Nawab's permission. So the Nawab started seizing the fort of Calcutta and imprisoning many officials in 1756 in a dungeon of Fort William. Around 100 of people were kept in a cell which were meant only for 6 people since only a handful of the prisoners survived. Others died due to suffocation. This incident was known as black hole tragedy when the news of this reached the britishers in madras they sent troops under colonel robert clive to win back the bengal robert clive bribed mir jafar the commander in chief of nawab's army and also promised to make him nawab of bengal on the bank of the river bhagirathi in a mangroves a place named plassey the opposite forces 
met each other on 23rd June 1757. The Battle of Plassey between the armies of Sirajuddaula and Clive. Robert Clive defeated Sirajuddaula in the battle and captured Calcutta. Sirajuddaula fled from the field for life. With that ended the battle of Plassey. This laid the foundation of the British Empire in India. Now we will discuss about the second important war, the Battle of Buxar. Battle of Buxar was fought between the British army and the combined forces of Mughal emperor Shah Alam II, Mir Qasim, the former Nawab of Bengal, and Shuja Daula, Nawab of Oudh. The battle took place in 22nd October 1764. The British defeated the combined forces of Indian armies. The seeds of British imperialism sown at Plassey flowered after the Battle of Buxar. However, the success in Buxar was solely due to the superior British military power. This consolidated the British rule in Bengal. The company started the unchecked plundering of the wealth of Bengal. The victory of British East India Company in the Battle of Plassey and Buxar made the British as the paramount power of India and marked as one of an important events in Indian history also. So students, today we discussed that Europeans fought with each other for the monopoly of trade and the series of conflicts between the French and the English in South India was known as Carnatic Wars in that the French was defeated. Then the English gained the monopoly of trade and they captured power in Bengal with the success of Battle of Plassey in 1757 and Battle of Buxar in 1764. So students, I hope all of you understood today's section. We'll meet you in the next class with the continuation of this chapter. Thank you.